What's going on everybody? Today we're going to take a look at some of the new objects and features that uh, Ubisoft has added into the Far Cry Arcade Editor. And I went ahead and took a look at a few different things and played around with some things. And I was actually uh, pretty surprised by some of the things that uh, Ubisoft has added in here. So let's go ahead and jump in. Uh, the first thing is gameplay. And right off the bat we're greeted with scripting. So we have scripting in the editor now, and this is such a cool feature. And I'm actually this is one of the things I'm surprised that this is in the editor. Um, when I heard there was going to be scripting, or people were saying there was going to be scripting, I was I didn't really expect that to happen. But yeah, so um, just this feature alone can really uh, be beneficial to, especially like uh, story-based maps, because you can set up certain action points. Um, wherever the the player is in your map so it's really cool um, I'll make a separate video talking about these script events mainly because um, there's something else I want to address that involves script events but as of right now I'll talk about the basics so you put down a script and then you can select the object preferences for it you can add an action and you can select um, the action to be spawning uh, AI, spawning an object, changing time of day, changing music theme, which I thought was pretty cool. But of course, in order for that to be activated, you have to put down a trigger. And we have three different triggers here. We have a trigger event, which, you know, something has to happen in the map in order for... Um, that trigger to be activated so you can set it to killing a specific AI character will launch the script or blow, blowing up a certain object will launch the script the next thing is trigger look at this one I'm not too sure this, this details on how it works but you can select a radius of how far a character is from the script point I believe and um, if they're within that certain range the either the object will appear or the time of day will change or something depending on which action you have it set to and the last one is a uh, trigger um, volume is what it's called but it's actually just a little zone that you can of course uh, widen and you can actually widen this thing across the entire map which I thought was pretty wild but yeah of course, whatever trigger you set down, you have to make sure that the trigger is set to a specific script. So just make sure that's good. All right, let's go ahead and check out um, weapons and ammo. We have a new melee weapon, and that's a bamboo stick. Go ahead and place that down. We'll go to handguns, and we now have an old friend makes a return. The six... P9 pistol from Far Cry 3 and 4. Welcome back, little buddy. I'll put you down there. You know, the Desert Eagle is now in the editor, which that's cool. We have um, a weapon from the uh, Lost on Mars. Another weapon from Lost on Mars, the Nut Hugger. And we have uh, the World War One pistol. Um... Next thing is rifles, and we have a new assault rifle. This is the uh, weapon I wanted to have in the editor when I first seen it in the uh, store on the campaign. It's the BP12 or BP2. I'm sorry. No new snipers. I believe there are a couple of new shotguns. We have 1887. I think that one's more modern, and then there is the uh, just regular one, and then we have the bulldozer which is the uh, from this is a shotgun from Lost on Mars and we have the MG42 making a comeback this was in Far Cry 4 and I'm glad this is back I'm glad we have more options now when it comes to LMG SMG we now have the regular BZ19 and then that's pretty much about it no new launchers or specials we still don't have the uh, throwable um, weapons from Lost on Mars. Hopefully they get in soon. Still no explosive ammo pickups or explosive arrow pickups. I'm sorry. And no window mounting turrets. So vehicles, we do have a 
couple of new vehicles. Nothing uh, to blow your mind, really. But we do have this Golden Vroom. I do believe this is new. And um, on top of that, we have a Cubic Quad. Perfect for Minecraft maps, I guess. And then now we go to air. We have the same Cubic vehicle. It's a helicopter. And same for water. It's a jet ski. Climbing and navigation. Um, we have this AI nav link character. I don't know exactly how this operates. I hadn't used it yet or played around with it yet. But you can set a certain height property to it. So curious to see what that actually does. If you already know what it does, let me know in the comments too. And then I think that's about it under climbing and navigation. Let's go to explosives now. And we now have explosives from Blood Dragon. So this is pretty interesting. I'm wondering what Ubisoft's gonna do. Cause I, I heard originally there were supposed to be three known DLC releases and then three unknown. So we did see a Blood Dragon and uh, Dead Living Zombies. So I wonder if that's a hint. I wonder if Ubisoft has something, some more tricks up their sleeve. I wonder if we're going to see a sequel to Blood Dragon, perhaps. So that was pretty neat. That'd be cool if we get the weapons um, from the original Blood Dragon. But since we're talking about Blood Dragon, let's go ahead and work our way down to Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon objects. Let's start with objects. Carcass and corpse. We have the scientists. And we, of course, we have the, um, the Omega. What are they called? Omega. Okay, that's it. But yeah, this is pretty cool. Hopefully we get the uh, scientist AI as well in the future. Let's go to electronics. We have some speakers as well as, um, what is this? A door switch. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I see. Hey, I'm going to put that down. I wonder if that actually does anything. Um, we have a, a laboratory keypad, a Danko light support, escape pods, pretty cool, whoa, garrison beam, caster, laboratory bed, I was very surprised when I stumbled upon this, I really couldn't believe it. And we have these uh, consoles, which have a lot of life in them too. So with all these buttons blinking and all these lights showing, it's going to be awesome to use. All right, let's go to f uh, furniture. We have uh, the Danko barrier cover, one that's vertical. We have a cage. We have the door cage, but I do not believe it is destructible. It doesn't have an icon. We have a communication unit. We have a roadblock. Laboratory chair. Regular white metal chair. Laboratory table. And we it looks like we have different uh, versions of this table, which is pretty cool. Awesome. Military gun pod. Is this like a... Like one of those automatic guns that just shoot at players. Now that'd be cool if we had some of those in the editor. Unmanned uh, turrets. Alright, let's go to lighting. And we have a Danko lamp post, which these you can actually change the color of. Which is pretty cool. You can do blue, you can do purple, and you can do green. Oh, that's red, I'm sorry. Red, yellow, green, I think was the original one, wasn't it? Oh no, there it is. But yeah, that's pretty neat. Let's go back. Light fixture. And then a garrison beam. All right, let's go down to mechanical now. Some pipes, parts of pipes. Little robot arms. OK, 
cool. Ceiling wires on a pipe, I believe. Let's go to storage and we have a shipping crate. It's pretty cool. Another version of the shipping crate. Danko gun rack. And water container, destroyed water container. Really cool. It's actually kind of nostalgic uh, seeing some of these objects because I did use these or some of these objects in Far Cry 3, but they didn't really release a whole bunch in Far Cry 3, so it's really cool to get all these stuff. All this stuff, not these stuff. Tech palette. Awesome. All right, let's progress. Let's go ahead and get into structures. Let's do bunker. We have a series of bunkers now. Checkpoint building here. Base corridor. balcony yeah quite a bit of stuff here so they have like interiors and then they have the exterior ones so pretty cool doors and windows unfortunately I do not believe there are any automatic doors that'd be such a cool thing to have in the arcade. I didn't mean to put that down. And we have these uh, garage entrances, which look pretty cool. All right, let's go to extensions. What is that? Oh, it's a Shaft. Cool. Whoa. cover hmm cool no one has a little doorway awesome all right let's go to hangers let's see what's here in hangers i remember this one they had this one in far cry 3 it's pretty cool well whoa Okay, there's nothing in there. It's just for looks, I guess. That's pretty cool. Ooh, a little lookout tower. Oh, I remember this tower, too. Base hangar. Entrance. Hmm. 
Really neat stuff. Whoa! Oh, I didn't see this when I first looked through it. Dang. Wow. This is really cool. Oh, somebody's going to be building Star Wars maps. Looks like those little consoles from Star Wars. Whoa. So another one? This one's just empty, I guess. Awesome. Let's continue. We got platforms. I'm like moving away from the main area. Got a good amount of different platforms here. Corner catwalk. Awesome. Staircases are back. I'm glad we have a, a good amount of metal staircases now. Different versions of it too. A-frame staircase, that's pretty cool. Base stairs, awesome. And those are all the same. Satellites, huh? Whoa! These are actually massive. I do remember seeing the satellite dish, though. This looks cool. All right. All right, so let's go ahead and check out audio and visuals. This has changed a little bit. So now we have sound points, which we have an air conditioning, air vents outside, angels disappearing, balloon bursts, baby crying. Oh, great. People are going to be making some freaky stuff with this. What is that? A bomb? Bullet impact. Huh. Burning house. Cave. Crowd react. Crowd quiet. Wow, that's cool. Holy cow. Do they have a Bigfoot hell? That'd be kind of cool. Oh, you gotta have a Bigfoot hell. Distant warfare. Uh oh. You hear people. Whoa. A dragon roar? Oh, that's cool. Goodness. An elevator? You know, it'd be cool if we actually did have an elevator in the editor. Explosions. Fireworks. Whoa. Wow. There's actually a lot of sounds in here. Mammoth sound, huh? A nuclear blast. Phone call. Wow.
My goodness, there's a lot. Now, what do the object preference consists of? Oh, nothing. Okay, so you can't um, control the range of it, I guess. That's still neat. Anyways, volumes. Oh, okay, so they have... Um, okay, so these you can actually extend the... Uh, the um, audio. All right, let's check out visuals. Or actually, I don't think there's really anything in visuals. And we still have the lighting management and then the reflection management. We got that at an earlier update. I don't think there's anything else though. Oh, there is Guy Marvel fireworks. I did see, remember seeing these. Some of the um, objects have new icons as well, so that's pretty cool. Lens flare. All right. Let's go ahead and check out, what else is there? Generic shapes, okay, so this is another area that um, I kind of got surprised by. I went to generic shapes and as soon as I clicked on it, it says destructible. I couldn't believe my eyes. I do remember a few people actually asking for destructible generic shapes. People saying, oh, wouldn't it be cool if we could have a customized um, or generic uh, destructible shapes and we can customize our own buildings and you can blow up your buildings. Well, with, uh, with this, you can now. So, I mean, the staircases... Actually, let me put some of this stuff down over here where all the weapons are. Now they have no physics and then they have with physics. No physics seem to be, um, you could easily destroy these objects with bullets or you can like melee them and break them pretty easily. And then the with physics, these require like a heavy explosion to break them down, at least when I was playing around with it, that's what I got from it. We have some staircases. I'm gonna actually show off another new feature too in a second here. Let's put a ramp down, yeah. Now some of these generic shapes are like already broken, which is pretty neat. Destructible windows, so that's pretty cool. And then floors, I'll put a floor down. Okay, so here's a new feature as well. Um, you can actually highlight all these objects. And I do believe that they share the same custom properties or uh, the uh, same object preference. You can actually change them all at once. So let's do old cracked or concrete old, I'm sorry. But yeah. So now all of them are changed at once, so that's pretty cool. And we'll get into there and, or we'll get into the map and then we'll blow them up and see how they work. Let's go ahead and take a look at the with physics ones and we'll put them on this side. Put a door down. These actually have more broken debris by the looks of it. Okay. Whoops. Didn't mean to grab those. All right, so now we'll do concrete block. Actually, let's do, um, there we go. Okay. But that's pretty much it. 
under oh we do have these down here we have a generic barrel All right, so uh, pretty, like I said, some really neat stuff that we have here in the editor now. And uh, I do believe that's it. I don't think there are any, these are um, indestructible shapes. But I do believe everything is about the same here. Okay, collapse all, make sure I'm not, I don't think I'm missing anything else. No. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at AI. So now we have a few new AI characters. We can go to um, type and we can go down to zombies. Now we have some zombies. We have the behemoth. Look at this guy. All right. We have a roach female. Okay, we have a roach male, and then a walker, female, and a walker male. Okay, hey, it's Hugh Jackman. All right, I'm gonna go back to type, and then you can go to DLZ, NPC, and we actually have the evil corp officer. Now, I actually discovered something with this little dude. I'm going to put him down over here. I'll show you guys what I've discovered with him. And then, of course, we have some, I think, that have blood on them. Some that are armed with uh, assault rifles. And then we have a wannabe Voss. These are actually the uh, gangsters from one of the um, Guy Marvel scripts. So these guys are pretty cool too. Good to see we are getting we are getting new uh, AI characters. It's awesome. Okay, animation points. We do have new animation points, which I think these were already in here, but I didn't cover. There's some zombie wildlife, and then of course they have characters uh, zo for zombies for the human zombies. But yeah, let's go to um, animals. We have some new animals. We still don't have the crocodile or the black panther from Vietnam. Hopefully we get those in soon. But let's take a look at arachnids. We got the, um, the aliens from Lost on Mars. Very cool. Unfortunately, we do not have the, um, which I don't know what they're actually called, but the the flying aliens we don't have any of those hopefully those get put in later but yeah pretty cool and then we can go down further and then we have some zombie ones we have a zombie bear holy cow and of course we have a blood dragon look at this guy neat blood dragon hard easy hard what's this one impossible oh no normal Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. A moose. A wasps. Where's their nest? And then we have a little wolverine. And then we have a yeti zombie. Alright. Pretty cool stuff here. Unfortunately, we don't have the little robots from uh, Lost on Mars. Hopefully we get the enemy little robots and the ally little robots. That'd be that'd be really nice, Ubisoft, if we could get those. But um, let's see what else. Of course, control zones. Those are the same. Spawning preferences. Now, for a few months, um, for the past few months, I've seen under like allies uh, object preference, there is a spawning preference, which I wasn't sure what that meant because you click on it and it would say none it wouldn't give you an option but i'm gonna say it's for this stuff and this is actually of course seen in the uh, new dlc but these are basically um little stations that spawn 
AI. And I did mess around with them for a little bit, and it does seem that they will spawn forever. Depending on how you set it up and the uh, preferences, but it seems like they will spawn forever and keep spawning until you or the player kills or shoots all the uh, little uh, capsules. But that's pretty cool. I will make a video on those um, spawning preference stations as well. Let's see, anything else? I don't think there's anything else. I don't think time of day, sky. No, unfortunately they don't have um, the Martian sky where you look up and you can see the two moons, unfortunately. Clouds, of course, the Milky Way. Storm. There needs to be um, some more uh, storm options, I think. But I do believe that is it. There's no new music. I don't think. It doesn't look like it. But they did rearrange it, it seems. I do feel like I'm missing something, though. Maybe not. All right, so we're going to go ahead and jump in, and we'll mess around with some of the uh, new objects. Actually, I'm sorry. There was one thing I was wanting to show with this guy. I'm going to put him over here. Um, I'm going to give him a weapon. Let's give you a... Let's give you the Nerve Reaper. I'm going to set this to only spawn once. Okay. I'm going to put a little icon down as well. Or a spawn point. Not an icon. Spawn point. Cool. Alright. Let's dive in. Oh, let me turn on infinite ammo too. I'll probably need that. And invincible. Okay. Uh, what? Trigger is not linked to a script. Oh. There we go. Are you happy now? Game of validation. Uh, trigger is not linked to a script. All right, what is clipping? The melee object? The melee weapon? Or maybe it's the bulldozer. Okay, should be good now. And look at this guy. Look, he, he, he automatically runs and picks up the gun that's near him. He doesn't actually spawn and pull out a gun. Um, but I did some messing around with him. And from time to time, he will actually shoot that gun. It just all depends. It's very weird. Oh, there we go. Hey. Hallelujah! Sure. Oh, see, I got, I got him, I got one of them to work. It's weird. But yeah, it's pretty cool. If you could find a way to get them to use those uh, Lost on Mars weapons with no issue. Definitely let them know in the comments. I tried uh, getting them to use snipers, shotguns, LMGs. They only react to assault rifles. And of course, they will use the new weapon, this gun here. They will pick that up. Um, M16 they use, and then AK-47. 
and then we can select multiple objects at once change their preferences all at once so that's nice okay all right let's jump in So as you can see, they have no problem using the uh, AK-47. They have no problem using the, was it BP-9? I can't remember. And then the uh, M-16. So this guy, he's having a rough day. Got the modern, 1887. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Awesome. Got the Desert Eagle. Ooh. See if this does anything. Nope. And then, of course, the BZ-19. Alright. So let's go ahead and... Um, blow up some stuff. Oh, goodness. Here, let me get some distance. Oh, wow. It doesn't take much to uh, blow that up. All right, so uh, so these over here are the no physics, I believe. These you can just easily shoot and destroy. But so yeah, so these you can actually. Uh, shoot and completely destroy these you cannot shoot or some of them you can but when it comes to like bigger walls it's going to take more than just some bullets to actually uh, destroy it so we'll throw a grenade it says I have grenades but I guess I do not Let's see if a shotgun can uh, can break it apart. Yeah, oh, there we go. So yeah, you can break pretty much anything. But these require um, a higher impact weapon or explosives. Traditional bullets won't do anything. Unless you shoot it enough, but... Okay, yeah, so over time they will get destroyed, but they're not as easily dis um, destructible as the objects that were over here. Okay. Is there anything else? No. I'm good. Alright. 
Well, I do believe that is it. I may have missed a couple of new things. I'm not entirely too sure, but anyways, I think that's going to be it for this one. You guys take care now. See you.